All right, Shalom. First and foremost, of all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Baha Hashem, Yahweh Shai, Baha Hashem, Makakodash. The Bible says, Apostles, the great mills, nor teaching us, nor saying the truth according to the Bible rule well. And peace and blessings still flight of the nation of Israel. Take through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Baha Hashem, Yahweh Shai. Willing into the Lord, willing other fine lesson on how we. As the hopeful members of Yah, the hopeful members of the elect of Yah by Shema Washai should be drawing nigh on to the Lord. You know, as we see, you know, the day of Yah by Shema Washai approaching. You see, this is um, um, Psalms one forty nine and forty seven. It says. <laughs> This is um, Psalms 149, I'm sorry, Psalms 119, verse 46. It says, I will speak of thy testimonies also before kings and will not be ashamed. And that's what we are doing out there on the highways and byways. You see, the Lord has sent down his Holy Spirit upon man upon these uh, in these last days to speak of the prophecies, you know, that are, you know, that are coming. You see, and though the prophecies may seem to tarry at the end, they will speak and not lie. If you're watching, you're paying attention, you understand that the prophecies of Yahweh Shema Washai are speaking loud and clear. You see, and those who are stand up in great boldness in the face of such that has afflicted them have nothing to be ashamed about. You see, neither do those who believe on their words. You see, it says, and I delight and I would delight myself in thy commandments, which I have loved. So we should be delighting ourselves, you know, something that should bring joy and delight to our, uh, you know, our day is keeping the commandments of Yahweh by Shema Washai, being obedient, you know, fearing the Lord. You see, as the Lord wants us to draw nigh unto him as we see the day approaching and how do you draw nigh unto the Lord by seeking after his ways, by being obedient, by doing the things that he has commanded us to do. You see, it says, my hands also while I lift up unto thy commandments, which I have loved, and I will meditate in thy statues. Yes, yeah, so we're going to show reverence to the ways of Yahweh by Shema Shai by performing the righteous acts of the Lord, you know, in our day-to-day -day lives, you know, when, when trials come, you know, we're going to apply wisdom. When temptation arises, we're going to remember the fear of the Lord. You see, constantly meditating upon this word, you see, it says, remember the word unto thy servant. And then we're asking the Lord to remember his promises, you know, well, Lord, you know, you say, if I was obedient, then you would give me the strength to endure these afflictions. You see, you know, if I did what you said, you know, as you have commanded us, you would give me the strength and, and show me the way out. You see, and Yahweh by Shema Washai, you know, in them we have peace. You know, in this world, we're going to have tribulation, you know, but we must be of you know, a, a sound mind, knowing that Yahweh Shai, he has overcome this world. And if we be in Yahweh Shai, then we are going to overcome this world as well. You see, but we must, must give diligence to make our calling and election sure. You see, it says, remember the word unto thy servant, which thou hast caused me to hope. The hope, the expectation is this word. Is going to come to pass, right? As this is the, the hopeful year of Yahweh Shema Shai bringing his prophecies to pass, you know, coined by, you know, the elder Apostle Har, you know, if you can receive it, the, the leader of the nation of Israel today, you know, bringing out the truth according to the Bible, you see, the 100% truth, you see. So we're asking the Lord to remember his words and to bring these prophecies to pass. In this and establish a righteous kingdom down here upon the planet earth you see it says this is my comfort in my affliction and the times of affliction are coming 
You see, and this is why you should be drawing nigh to Yah by This is St. Mark, chapter 13, verse 19. For in those days shall the Son of Man be in the days that we're living in. You know, in the times that we're coming into the devil and you know, the deceiver, those who, you know, Esau, Edom, right? He's going to deceive those into taking this karagma, right? The, the great deceiver, right? He's going to paint. You know, this MOTB system as a good thing, you see? So in these days, afflictions are going to rise. And anyone who has, you know, anything adverse with this B system, well, they're going to be going through holy hell as persecution is going to arise, you know? And what? If things are going to get tight. There's going to be food shortages, famine. And Esau is going to come in with his left-handed salvation, you know, as a light unto the people. But we have our light, you know, we have our way to follow, and that is Yahweh Shai. You see, it says, for in those days shall be affliction, such as was not from the beginning of creation, which God created unto this time, neither shall be. So a time like none other is coming. So in our afflictions, right, this word, this knowledge that we are constantly meditating on, constantly thinking about, constantly thinking about the kingdom of heaven, constantly thinking about the righteousness of Yahweh Shemal Shai. You see, that should be our comfort. You know, as we see, you know, as brothers are giving reports of homeless, homelessness being at an all time high. Right. And then see how the Heavenly Father has a hedge of protection around you. You know, around you and your household, how Yahweh Shema Shai, you know, is with us in that as you know, Yahweh Shai told his disciples, you know, before he sent them forth, you know, to preach the word, you know, uh, you know, when you read the last chapter in Matthew, he says, I will be I'll always be with you. You know, so Yahweh Shai is with us today in spirit. You see, it says this is my Psalms 119 to 50. This is my comfort in my affliction for thy word has quickened me. So this word, you know, is what quickened us. This word is what uh, makes us alive. You see, and this is what we're going to need, you know, especially in the times that we're in, coming into, you know, as, you know, some brothers may say the times that we are in. You see, this is what we're going to need uh, more than ever, this knowledge. This is Psalms 27 and 7. Hear, O Yahweh Shema Washai, when I cry with my voice. You know, so you have the prophets, of course, they're out there on the highways and byways crying. But what do you do when you're not a prophet? You know, you should be crying to the Lord in your prayers, in your mind. You know, in your day-to-day -day life, you should be crying now for all the abominations that be done in the midst of, and ask the Lord, how long? You know, how long shall the wicked prosper? How long shall they imagine of vain things down here upon the earth? You see, how long until Yahweh Shema Shai exacts his righteous vengeance, his righteous judgments, you see, for the, for the wicked inhabitants of the planet earth? You know, and those who are watching, you know, as we have been commanded to watch can see that it's not for much longer. You know, as we see the days are being shortened for the elect's sake. So Yahweh Shema Washai is working mighty works in these days for us, you know, as we are part of the hopeful elect of Yahweh Shema Washai. You know, as you know, is written in believe it is Zephaniah, we are prisoners of hope. It says, Hear, O Lord, when I cry with my voice, have mercy also upon me and answer me. And that's what we're looking for. And that's why you should be drawn nigh to Yahweh Shema Vashai so you can receive mercy. Because more than anything, more than, you know, a woman, you know, a nice car, you know, or anything that one can imagine or deem to have value in one's life, you know, the mercy of the Heavenly Father, the creator of the ends of the earth, nothing's going to be more valuable 
than his mercy. And that's what we're seeking after. That's what we're looking for. The mercies of the Lord. It says, Hear, O Lord, Yah by Shema Washai, when I cry with my voice, have mercy also upon me and answer me. You see, we're asking the Lord to answer our prayers. And we understand that the Heavenly Father is going to execute righteous judgment down here upon the earth as He hears our cries. You see, in due season, that's what we're patiently waiting for. It says, When thou saidest, Seek ye my face, my heart, my heart said unto thee, Thy face, Yahweh Shema Washai, will I seek. And that's what the Lord is saying. So your mind, our mindset, you know, our very being of who we are right now in this present time should be, you know, uh, having the tunnel vision, right? Our eye being single, our eye being full of the light, the righteousness of Yahweh by Shema Shai, our minds fixated upon this truth, you know, constantly thinking about it, constantly thinking about it. You see, we shouldn't be going a day without thinking about Yahweh by Shema Shai. We should be, we shouldn't be going a day without praying to the Lord. You see, we're no. Uh, we're in those times, you know, where the, the things are going to get hot. You know, we're in the, the midst of, you know, spiritual uh, war. You see, and in any war, you got to be, you know, on point. You got to be constantly ready because in, in a moment before, uh, you know, as, you know, our salvation is nearer than when we believed. You see, so our salvation is close. This is Romans. Chapter 13 and 11, and that knowing the time, right, as the prophets of Yahweh by Shema Shai, you know, have been sent out on the highways and byways to reveal unto you what time it is, what season we are in, you know, as we are in the season of hate, you know, the season of war, you know, the season of betrayal, right? As the love of many is waxing cold because iniquity has been given rain, you know, to abound in the earth by the wicked leaders of the world, Esau, Edom, and their elites that rule this world in the shadows. You see, it says, and that knowing the time that now it is high time to wake out of sleep. Now it is high time, you know. It's some a high time, you know, we look it up, you know, right here in the blue letter, something that should have been done a very long time ago because the time is short, the time is narrow, you know, and you want to be drawing nigh to Yahweh Shema Shai using this opportunity of grace, you know, to build up your faith, you know, because we're going to need faith more than anything, you know, to overcome in these times. We're going to need the fear of the Lord. We're going to need mercy. Yeah, we're going to need a discernment. You see, these are things that we're going to need, you know, to overcome. And some of those things, you know, take time to build up, right? So we should be building up our faith day to day, realizing, you know, how much the Heavenly Father is doing with us now. And that should strengthen your faith day to day. Realize how the Lord, no matter how tired you were, no matter how you know, uh, uh, drained in the flesh, no matter what uh, thoughts you're going through in your mind, the Heavenly Father, you know, you have overcome and you have made it to this day and the Lord is still with you, right? It says, for now is our salvation nearer than when we believe, you see? So our salvation is nearer than we think, right? So salvation is near. You know, everything is coming to an end, you know, so we need to watch, continue to watch, continue to pray. And we'll close out on this is uh, James chapter 4, verse 7. Submit yourselves, therefore, to the Most High, you know, and that means submitting yourself, you know, to the authority, you know, the order, you know, the leadership that Yahweh Shema Shai has set up doing everything decently and in order. You know, some some people still don't understand what that means. Doing things decently and in order. You see, 
one of the shortest verses in the Bible, right? Uh, 1 Corinthians 14 and 40. You know, nevertheless, right? 144, for those who have the eyes to see. It says, submit yourselves, therefore, to the Most High. Resist the devil. What do you do when you resist? You fight. So we fight temptations. You see, we're fight. This is a fight. And he will flee from you, right? It says, draw nigh to the Most High. So we're drawing nigh to Yahweh Shema Washai. Draw nigh to him by reading, reading more, right? We should be praying more, you know, being more in tune to what's going on in the spirit, right? It says, cleanse your hands, ye sinners. So cleanse your hands, you got to wash your, your hands, you know, meaning, what, what does that mean? Cleanse your hands, you know, what do you, what do you do with your hands? Do you work with your hands? So your actions... That you should be putting forth from the earth should be, you know, holy. They should be separate. They should be pure in the eyes of the Lord. It says, cleanse your hands, ye sinners, and purify your hearts, ye double-minded. Be afflicted and mourn and weep and let your laughter be turned into mourning and your joy into heaviness. Right? Humble yourselves, therefore, in the sight of the Lord. And he shall lift you up. So we should be taking this time seriously. You know, this isn't the time of mirth, the time of playing games, the time of, you know, doing what the hell, doing whatever, what, whatever it is that you want to do, right? But it's the time of, you know, prayers, time of fasting, time to uh, uh, ask, draw nigh to Yahweh by Shema Washai. You see, humble yourselves that in due season we may be lifted up to glory, right? Lifted up in those ships, you know, as that is the day, you know, that we are truly uh, waiting for, you know, till our change come. But you know, with that, you know, say to all y'all by Shema Shai for allowing me to do this lesson. You know, uh, peace and love to the whole collective nation of Israel. Shalom.